Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at a, a sermon today in a, a few parts called The Word of God in Your Life. So I hope you're okay. So let's come before the Lord. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love and your grace. And Father, I ask in the name of thy Lord Jesus Christ that thou would bless this message, that the Holy Spirit would be with us, that those who hear it would have your word sealed to their hearts, that it would change their lives. I ask this, Lord, for your glory, Lord. Amen. If you'd like to turn to Acts uh, chapter 17. Acts chapter 17. Sorry if I have an itchy nose. Verse 11 to 12, it says, These were more firm-minded than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. Therefore many of them believed and also not a few of the Greeks prominent women as, as well as men. So we're looking at that passage and um, you know the Bereans were people who wanted to seek the word of God. They wanted to know what the apostles were teaching. They wanted to know what the Word of God said. Okay. There's a story of a, an evangelist called John Blanchard, and he was in a coffee bar, and he was talking to, to two atheists and and debating with them. And he said, "Look," he said, "If I was able to prove to you that the Christian faith was true, would you be, still believe?" And they said, "No." And so he said, "Well, your problem is not intellectual; it's moral." You know, really, you don't really want to know what the truth is. You just want to live the way you want to live. And I want to ask that question to you. You know, you might have seen me around preaching in Manchester or wherever. And I just want to ask you, are you really interested in the truth? Or are you interested in entertainment? Maybe you just want to see me because you've seen me on the street or, or whatever and it's just interesting. But are you interested in the truth? I put it to the atheist out there. Are you really interested in the truth? Because I think a lot of people are just going around YouTube and listening to videos because it's entertainment value rather than actually wanting to know what the truth is. And here's a test of how we, we know whether we want the truth or not. A.T. Robertson says, The Bereans, these are the people in this passage, the Bereans were eagerly interested in the new message of Paul and Silas, but they wanted to see it for themselves. What a noble attitude. Paul's preaching made Bible students of them. And I've got a challenge to you young people out there. When you hear a preacher, when you hear a Christian apologist, does it drive you to study the Bible? And if you're not studying the Bible and wanted to to find out what the Bible teaches, then you're not really seeking truth. And a, a lot of atheists out there will say, Jay, you know, we know the Bible. We came from Christian families. Let me ask you this. Have you searched the Scriptures? Have you really, really, honestly, with an open heart, searched the Scriptures? Because studies have been done, and many atheists, many atheists, become atheists because of what some Christian has done. So some Christian youth worker might have upset you when you was a young person and it turned you away from Christianity and you went to atheism. Your pastor said something, didn't answer your questions and so you turned away from Christianity and you became an atheist. In other words, the, the culture that you was in, uh, you saw that culture and you was not impressed so you turned away. But that's not the scriptures. That's not the scriptures. You've got to search the scriptures with an open heart and an open mind. Psalm chapter 1 verse 2 to 3. And, and I plead with you today to be open. If you're a Muslim today, you say, Jay, the Bible's been changed, but let me ask you this. Have you read the Bible? How many times have I heard Muslims, young people say to me, Jay, the, the Bible's been changed, but yeah, have you read the Bible? Have you studied the Bible? Psalm 1 verse 2 and 3 says, 
But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that springs forth its fruit in, brings forth its fruit in season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. There's a blessing in studying the, God's word. If you're a Christian today, there's such a blessing in the study of the word of God. And then if you turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13 just looking at the time one Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 so come on be honest folks if you're a Christian why aren't you regularly studying the Bible you've got to have a, a study plan and studying the Word of God and if you're a, an unbeliever today come on be honest are you really be are you really intellectually honest? Are you really openly studying the Word of God? Studying the Bible. Sorry about this. One Thessalonians chapter two verse thirteen. For this reason we also thank God without ceasing, because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as is in truth the word of God, which also effectively works in you also. That believe this is the word of God. When you hear it preached, you're hearing God's words preached to you. Okay, this is the word of God. It's God breathed, and everybody out there needs to feed on this. You said, Jay, there's a lot of intellectual questions and issues that I've got with the Bible. Hey, join the club everybody's got issues the Bible is a book that upsets you it's a Bible that the Bible overturns you the Bible is a challenging book but you're never ever going to get to grips with those questions unless you don't unless you are a Berean the Bereans when they heard the Apostle Paul didn't say we don't want to know that that's just rubbish they didn't go oh yeah right yeah big deal they went okay you're saying that I'll study the Bible, I'll study the Old Testament, and I'll see whether you're right, Paul. And you, as atheist, it's no good saying, "Oh, Jay, yeah, I know, I know, I've heard the Bible before, I've read the Bible." Go and study it, study it in depth, study it in depth. And as a Muslim young person, you say, "Jay, the Bible's been changed." Listen, be a Berean, study the Bible. Really, be a Bible student. And I guarantee most of you who don't believe today, I guarantee most of you, if you honestly study the Word of God, if you honestly study the Bible, open the Bible and truly study it, go on uh, Grace to You website by John MacArthur and go through a sermon series with him. Or go and read and study with uh, Dr. Bob Utley. I, um, just type in Dr. Bob Upley Free Bible Commentaries and he's got commentaries on there and study some of them and I guarantee most of you will end up becoming born again Bible believing Christians because when you start to study the Word of God you begin to see oh my goodness this is amazing this is really amazing and as Christians you, you're going to go through tough times and you need this if you're a young Christian today the one thing that you need is this. You need this. So come on. Part of my ministry over this year is going to be teaching the Word of God. So if you want to get into it, come and join me on that journey. Alright, thanks for listening. Take care.